Hey everyone. So, I'm currently working on retrofitting my conveyors with a stepper motor, which is inside here, which I will show you in a moment. And right now I'm just repurposing a Frankenstein version of my Otis controller, my optical inspection controller board. So it's running one of my Pro S3s and I'm only using one stepper driver. It's a, a TMC 5160. Lots of uh, bodge wires at the moment because, like, as I said, retrofitting this to work. I've got uh, a limit switch on the inside and a limit switch on the other end. That is for homing. That is to measure the width of the conveyor. Not all conveyors the same width. I've got two different conveyor types on my line. And the idea is that right now, if I want to adjust a conveyor, I need to do it manually. I need to remember to go along my whole line and adjust the widths. Obviously my pick and place machine and my stencil printer will auto adjust based on the job I'm doing, but all the interim conveyors won't. So my plan is an ESP32 that sits on each one. They're all on Wi-Fi. They're all connected to MQTT. They all have the ability to home and to measure, and then they can all be set to a particular width based on an MQTT message. So the first steps was obviously getting a stepper inside, which I'll again show you after I show you the demo and getting it to home, getting it to measure and be able to set the width. So I'm going to click the reset button. It's going to log into the internet and when it's finished, it's going to just do its measure. Take it off. So it's currently measuring. So first thing it'll do is it'll home. I'm just running this, it's a NEMA 23. I'm just running it off 12 volts at the moment. So it does its home. You can see it's, it does a limit check. I can see it display here, the limit. And then it's going to, so it sets a zero position from there. This measure only has to be done once per conveyor. Obviously when I home, that's fine. It knows it's max distance. So I've currently got it, once it's measured, I've got it setting itself to be 99 millimeters wide. Okay, so it set its max, and now it's going to 99. And if I put the board on, 99 millimeters. That's exactly for all my tiny boards. Oh, and my Pro Pro's 3 boards, and other boards. So, how cool is that? It's now set itself based on the ESP32 S3 that's running on my Pro S3. So inside here, what I've actually got, thanks to Peter Homan, uh, one of my patrons and a, a mate of mine, he um, actually CNC'd this metal bracket that fits inside. So normally there's just a shaft here in fact, this actual shaft here, which would normally bolt on there and stick out the hole, and that's what the handle goes on. So we've actually put a, a double shaft NEMA 23 in there, and he also turned this new connection for it. So again, I can manually change it if I want to, but I can also step and control it. And right now, I just got the wires going through here, going to this board, but it's gonna be a custom board and the board won't sit inside here. It'll sit just on the outside underneath and it'll have its own power supply. Uh, right now the ESP32 S3, the Pro S3 is running off the 12 volts coming in and uh, an LDO taking it down to five volts, not overly efficient. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do onboard 24 to five with a, um, a step down module or something or whether I'll just use an external power supply that has both 24 and five volts isolated and uh, I can feed both in. I'll probably go for that option actually. But anyway, it won't be inside here. Uh, it'll be sitting on the outside. I'll build a case for it all. And so the idea is that I can just send an MQTT message and the stepper will go. It'll do its thing and set the width. And right now, even though it's set to the right spot, I've actually disabled the motors. So there's no whole torque on it at all right now. 
so it's not wasting current and it's not hitting up the stepper or anything. So I could actually manually, you see here, I can adjust it, it will fall out if I want to. These are all 3D printed little things with um, limit switches on there and there that's they're all locked in place. That's it. That's what I'm currently uh, working on amongst other things, but it's taken a while to get kind of all this together and um, the limit switch connectors I had on here, this board, I can't use them because they were running off an MCP 21 uh, 23017 and for some reason it won't initialize it used to but now it won't so I couldn't use these inputs that were already designed for limit switches so I ended up having to pull out some old through hole resistors to do some dodgy pull downs so it's all very uh, delicate right now pretty exciting though so that one and then I've got another one like this to do and then I need to work out how I'm going to do the same thing in my loader and unloader, which work off a similar system, except there's no front section that you can use. So we're going to have to do something inside. There you go. Automated with controlled conveyors. Woohoo! Catch you later. Bye.